Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Kelvin's Kitchen. Today we're making the most amazing meatloaf. To begin, we're cutting up 4 slices of Italian bread, any type of white bread would work. Cut up the bread into small bite-sized pieces, then transfer into a large mixing bowl. Now pour half a cup of whole milk and let the bread soak up the milk. Set the bread aside while we prep the rest of the ingredients. We need to grate one large carrot and one stack of celery. Now in a large skillet over medium heat, add in one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Add in one medium sized onion diced and saute until translucent. Season with a pinch of kosher salt. Now add the carrot and the celery to the skillet and continue cooking for another 3 to 4 minutes. Then add in 3 cloves of garlic, mince and continue cooking for about 1 minute or so. Once the garlic becomes fragrant, remove the skillet from the heat and set it aside. Let the vegetables cool off. Meanwhile, prepare a 9-inch meatloaf pan by spraying non-stick cooking spray. For the glaze, in a small mixing bowl, add in 3 quarters of a cup of ketchup, followed by 1 fourth of a cup of brown sugar, 1 teaspoon of paprika, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of onion powder, 1 tablespoon of yellow mustard, and 2 tablespoons of tomato paste. Then mix until thoroughly combined. Once the vegetables have cooled off, transfer into the mixing bowl with the bread. Followed by a quarter of a cup of fresh parsley, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, two large eggs, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one cup of freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano, kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper to taste. Go ahead and mix that in to incorporate. Now add in 2.5 pounds of ground chuck. If you are unable to find ground chuck, you may use ground beef that is 85 by 15, meaning 85% lean, 15% fat. Now we're going to incorporate the ground meat with the rest of the ingredients. First we're going to start with a spoon, but you know you're going to have to switch to your hands, right? Make sure that your hands are squeaky clean before going in. Gently fold the ingredients together with your hands. Try to avoid squeezing the meat as much as possible, while still achieving a homogeneous mixture. Meanwhile, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 177 degrees Celsius. Now transfer the mixture into the prepared loaf pan. Press down the mixture into the loaf pan. Then flip the meatloaf out onto a foil lined baking sheet. With a spatula smooth out the top, just like so. Then cover the meatloaf with half of the glaze and reserve the other half for later. Now bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius for about 55 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 155 degrees. During the last 5 minutes of baking time, cover with the rest of the glaze. 
you may change the setting of your oven to broil to caramelize the top of the glaze. If everything goes according to plan, the most amazing meatloaf would look like this. Then let it rest for a few minutes before slicing. Yo, check this out, I think now you are ready to eat. And there you guys have it, the most amazing meatloaf recipe. Enjoy, buen provecho, and thanks for watching. Bye.